Hey guys, um, my name is Tommy Pate, and I decided to do my presentation on the Boston Red Sox and where they play, which is Fenway Park. Uh, the what and why of Fenway. So what, a stadium is built in 1912, based in Boston, Massachusetts. Obviously, why it was provided uh, to a baseball team um, for them to play at. It uh, started off as the Boston Red Sox, and uh, it actually had football teams that uh, played in it, and as well as the Boston Braves, and then went back to the Red Sox. History of construction. So it was named after the location in Boston, which is the Fins. Um, it was built because John Taylor wanted a new field for his team uh, to have. Um, it was also financed by uh, Taylor's father, interesting fact. Um, so they started construction in September 1911, and they ended up finishing the construction uh, by April 1912. So it took them uh, about a, almost a year. Um, it was designed by uh, James McCall McCollin, um, and it cost around 650000 to construct. So renovations through the years here, they are right here. So from 1934, uh, they had hand operated scoreboards uh, that were added. Um, and I still think they are today uh, when I visited Fenway, they were there. Um, 1946, upper deck seats were installed on the Green Monster um, as well as they're still today. Um, 1947, arc lights were installed. Uh, 1976, metro distances were added. 1988, a glass protected seating area behind home plate was built which um, is very important since it's a very small ballpark. Um, a lot of ballparks uh, have uh, screened in areas for foul balls and all like that. So for them to do that was huge. Um, 1999, auxiliary press boxes were added on top of the roof boxes along first base and third base sides of the field. Um, 2000, um, new video displays was added in center field. Um, I remember seeing pictures of Fenway that there was no jumbotron. So for them to have that, that is huge with the fans, the players and all that. Uh, in 2003, uh, 2003, excuse me, seats were added to the green monster. 2004 seats were added to the right field roof above the grandstand. Um, 2008 seats were added to the state street pavilion level and down left field line. In 2011, three new scoreboards beyond right center field were installed. A new video control room was added. Gate D concourse underwent an entire remodel and all wooden grand stand seats were removed and replaced. So there was a lot of seating added for fans to come to the game. Uh, this is the current layout of Fenway Park. Um, it's a very small stadium compared to most uh, Major League Baseball stadiums, but um, it fits a good bit. Uh, events and revenue. So events uh, from 1912 to 1932, um, they were the Boston Red Sox. It was a baseball team. Um, I mentioned uh, previously that they had a few football teams in there from 1933, 1936. It was the Boston Redskins. I'm assuming uh, the Redskins moved to Washington and now are the football team. <laughs> uh, 1944 and 1948, it was the Boston Yanks. I actually did not know that. Interesting fact. Um, 1962 and 1968, they were the Boston uh, Patriots, which are now uh, New England. And from present day, uh, they are now the Boston Red Sox. They established that name again in 1969. Um, the revenue estimated at 13 million per year. However, the Red Sox make about 199 million per year. Big fan base. Why is Fenway Park unique? The oldest bar park in history. Um, they also have the Green Monster, which is this huge wall in left field. It is the tallest in any MLB park. It has a rooftop garden that produces, uh, it grows and produces for the restaurants and conce uh, concessions, excuse me. Um, you know, the name Fenway Franks, you know, it's just a, it's a classic name, you know, it's original. Um, it has a manual scoreboard that is still used. Um, you know, not many teams do that till still today. Staff on this facility, um, you have executive management, um, all that business affairs, uh, finance, analytics, and information technology, technology, excuse me, human resources, uh, marketing, of course, for creative service and communications. They have partnerships, sponsorships, uh, alumni and player relations, um, you know, Red Sox Foundation, Red, uh, Fenway Sports Group, the Fenway Sports Group partners, all that, all that. Um, so inventory of the facility, um, they have luxury locker rooms, hundreds of concessions throughout the entire facility. When I went there, it was great. Um, very, uh, great place to get a, a hot dog at. Uh, they have luggage storage for travelers. Um, they have entertainment outside the ballpark, games for children's live music. You know, it's just huge. It's a fun place to be at. 
Um, so this is my presentation. Here are my references. Um, I, I very much uh, enjoyed Fenway Park when I went a couple years ago. It was actually my favorite ballpark, so that's why I chose to do this. Um, and I think you should check it out. And my 